Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is DeAndre LeVon. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you stick around. We have a great time over here. And if you are not new here, then welcome back to the click. All right, y'all, so I'm here today with a hair video. Yes, I know it's been a little minute. I've been doing a lot of wedding content, but it's getting colder outside and we gotta make sure we have this hair on point. You know, gotta keep it nice and moisturized. And lately my hair is just feeling a little bit on the dry side. It just, I don't know, it just feels kind of like fragile to me. And I did strain my hair and get it wand curled for my wedding. So that was a lot of direct heat on my curls. And if y'all have watched my channel, y'all know that I rarely even use heat on my hair like it's a once a year type of thing but i just really wanted to wear my natural hair for my wedding that's something that i always said i wanted to do so i did it <laughs> and i don't have any damage or anything but some of my curls just i don't know they just look a little mm, i'm not feeling it <laughs> and i think i just need to do a nice protein treatment and to be honest y'all i have not done a protein treatment in a minute and that is not a good thing i know it's been real busy over here but today that's what we're going to do and i'm actually going to use a product that i have not used since my transitioning days which was like six seven years ago or something like that <laughs> but it worked really really well back then and i remember back then all the hair gurus were like swearing by this product and so of course i went out and bought it back then but i was walking around the store just trying to find something that i felt like would be really good for restoring my curls and giving me some needed protein and needed moisture and i saw this product and it brought back memories and i was like i'm gonna buy it again now I'm gonna see if I still like it. <laughs> and y'all, it is the ORS Hair Restore Hair Mayonnaise. Like if this brings back memories for y'all, then you are my tribe because everybody was using this stuff back then. Um, but anyways, it says hair mayonnaise with nettle leaf and horsetail extract. Conditioning treatment for damaged and weak hair is infused with nettle leaf and horsetail to nourish while olive oil, egg protein, and wheat germ oil help restore damaged and depleted hair. So this stuff is an intensive conditioning treatment that moisturizes and strengthens damaged and weak hair and enhances shine. So. We're gonna find out if I still like this stuff. But you know I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. <laughs> Cause this video is not sponsored. I just wanted to try it out again. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so if you are new to my channel, um, I always put my hair into four sections when I'm styling it or doing basically anything to my hair. And so today is gonna be no different. And if you're wondering about my hair like right now what style it was this is an old braid out i've actually been wearing my hair in a braid out for the past like week or two <laughs> i just you know wasn't really feeling like doing a whole lot i'm also in graduate school so i just kind of wanted something really simple which is why these braid outs have been working out really, really well for me. And also, because my curls were looking a little bit on the limp side, I was like, mm -mm, it's not time for a wash and go. We're about to do this braid out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we're about to get these curls back together. So this is just spray bottle with warm water. I feel like you probably can apply this to dry hair, but oh, nope, look. Apply a small amount to wet hair. Mm -hmm. We're about to wet this hair right here. And my spray bottle has warm water. 
because I do have low porosity hair and warm water just penetrates a lot, a lot easier compared to cold water. So they said wet, y'all. So we're going to really, really wet this hair. <laughs> Ooh, it's dripping. All right, so it's definitely wet. It's not soaking wet because it takes a lot for my hair to get soaking wet, but it's wet and that is what matters. So whenever I deep condition or style or anything, I always work in smaller sections. So we're going to split this first section into two halves. And the main reason why I do that is because my hair is very thick, it's very dense, and I want to make sure that I'm getting every strand of hair with this product. All right, y'all, so I remember this product having like a very distinctive smell. So let me see <laughs> if it's the same. Yes, it's very, very strong. <laughs> it's not like a horrible smell, but it's, it's a strong smell. Um, and it actually does kind of look like a food item. So that's kind of funny that it's called hair mayonnaise. It literally looks like I did like a DIY protein treatment that I just got a bunch of stuff out of my kitchen, but I did not. All right, so it said I'd take a small amount, but I don't ever use a small amount of anything. So we're gonna take about this much for now and apply it. Okay, so first thing I will say is that my hair seems to really like this. Like, that product has already like <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> All right, maybe my hair really was thirsty, y'all. Now I feel bad. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're about to get it together. That's what we're doing right now. We are getting it together right in time for these winter months. And it's gonna be fine. So because my ends are feeling a little bit limp, I'm going to put a little extra product just on the ends of my hair. So that's how we're looking so far. And we are going to just twist that section up. So as we move on to this next section, I do want to stress to you guys that this is an intensive hair treatment and it is a protein treatment. So this is not something that you would need to be doing every week. Should you be deep conditioning every week? Yes, or at least every two weeks. But that's with a moisturizing deep conditioner. You really shouldn't be using a strong protein treatment every single time because too much protein in your hair can actually cause it to be brutal and break off. So you definitely wanna make sure that you have a nice balance of protein and moisture in your hair routine. But several of my deep conditioners do have some protein in them, but they're majority for moisture. Whereas this product, I would say is probably majority for protein since it is designed for damaged or weak hair. So essentially what this product is doing is it's trying to rebuild the proteins that might have been broken in your hair. So as you probably know, 
Hair is made up of protein, and those protein bonds can be broken with things such as chemicals. So if you're bleaching your hair or dyeing your hair, or chemical relaxers, and of course, heat. Heat can also denature the proteins within your hair. And that is when you get damaged hair, that's when you end up with heat damage, or just hair that's a little bit weaker than it normally is, which I think is what I'm experiencing right now. Cause I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like when I was doing that, watch my hair revert video, <laughs> I was a little nervous because my hair, it reverted, but it definitely took a little bit longer than I guess it usually does. And the ends of my hair, even on that video, were still a little bit on the straight side. But as the days went on and as I styled my hair, my curls did bounce back pretty much, but that still kind of scared me. I'm not gonna even lie. <laughs> So that's when I was like, mm, okay, we're gonna go <laughs> and get us a nice protein treatment. And y'all, my hair is waist length at this point, or maybe a little bit longer than waist length. I haven't really been focused on the length very much. <laughs> waist length was my ultimate like hair goal. And so once I reached that, I was like, girl, I made it. <laughs> but I am not a length over health girl. I'm definitely health over length. And so if my hair is damaged or was damaged, I would not have a problem with cutting it. I mean, I'm big on trimming off dead hair. And I actually did do a trim um, before I even washed my hair while it was strained because that's when I like to trim my hair. It's a lot easier to trim when my hair is straight because I can really like see what needs to be trimmed. And I felt like I trimmed enough, but if it turns out that I need to trim some more, I'm perfectly fine with that. So we're going to do this little protein treatment and we're going to assess and evaluate my curls and see if there's anything that just needs to go. And if it needs to go, it's going. <laughs> so I'm just showing you guys what my curls look like. This is before we add the product. So you can just kind of see like certain places my curls are just mm, a little sad looking, but I wouldn't say that they are damaged. Like, I think they're just a little bit limp. <laughs> and that is why we are going to do this protein treatment. And I do expect that once we do this, my curls are probably going to be perfectly fine. But just in case they're still looking a little wonky at the bottom, we are going to cut them off. Like, it'll be fine. <laughs> and the reason why I keep talking about the ends is because that's really the only place that I've seen that the curls do look a little bit wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and that's because the ends of your hair are the oldest part of your hair. They're the most fragile part of your hair. So if you are gonna end up with any damage or any weak points in your hair, it's probably going to most likely be at the ends. So that is kind of what we are concentrating on, which is again, why I'm putting extra products on the ends of my hair. And also, if y'all are wondering why I did not wash my hair first, <laughs> usually when I deep condition, it is after I've washed my hair. But this time, I did not because I wanted you guys to see my hair in its current state. But of course, when I rinse this out, then I will go in and wash my hair. So you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> So all of the product has been applied. 
and my hair feels like really really good with this stuff y'all like i think i still like it i'm gonna let it sit on my hair and wash it out and all that and give my final verdict but so far this is still a good product all right so it says cover hair with plastic cap and let process under a warm dryer for 15 minutes rinse and towel dry so to be honest, I'm probably going to leave this in a lot longer than 15 minutes. It'll probably be closer to an hour <laughs> just because I always leave my deep conditioner on for like an hour. But I will be back to show you guys how my hair is looking and give y'all my final, final review of this product. Alright guys, we are back. We have rinsed out the deep conditioner and I went in with my Uncle Funky's Daughter Bye Bye Build Up Cleansing Conditioner just to clean my hair. And I absolutely love this stuff. I love Uncle Funky's Daughter. Like, y'all know that's my go-to. So now we're going to take my hair down and see what these curls are looking like. Mm, okay. Okay, so my hair feels really, really good. It feels super soft, but it feels like strong. <laughs> that probably sounds weird, but it actually does feel a lot, a lot better. And my curls look pretty good. Hair mayonnaise. Let's see what the front is giving. Ooh. Okay, yeah, my hair looks really, really good. Like my curls look super healthy. Okay. I am actually like <laughs> really, really happy, y'all. I did leave this deep conditioner on for like a couple hours <laughs> so I didn't want to overdo it but at the same time I always leave my stuff on for longer than the actual directions say and this is why it just gives me great great results I think my curls look really good Like I might trim a few of my ends just to be sure. But overall, y'all, my hair is looking good. I'm <laughs> I'm really really happy. I feel like my curls have not looked like this lately, so I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so final verdict. <laughs> this stuff, I would say that it still works, y'all. <laughs> like, it's still really, really good. And you can basically find this everywhere. I got mine at Sally's, but I'm sure it's on Amazon and everywhere else. So if you are having some issues with your hair, it's a little weak or damaged, definitely try that out and let me know how it works for your hair. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. That really helps to spread my videos throughout the YouTube algorithm. And also make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already done so. I would love for you to be a part of the family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.